Hi guys, leave a like on this video as we proceed to start the new episode of the latest Super Football News. Let's get started. Nicholas Jackson absolutely abysmal finishing ensures more Wembley pain for Mauricio Pochettino's men. The Senegalese striker ran from his own half and was put clean through on goal by Enzo Fernandez on the half-hour mark. He went around Ortega but failed to shoot, attempting to find Cole Palmer before Nathan Ake intercepted. Bernardo Silva drags FA Cup holders into yet another Wembley final as Pep Guardiola's side dish out their own Real Madrid-style smash and grab. Bayern Munich could reportedly bring on board Ralph Rangnick to replace Thomas Tuchel as they continue to wait for Xabi Alonso for at least a year. Arsenal are one of three clubs in with a chance of signing Santiago Jimenez from Feyenoord in the summer transfer window. Luis Enrique hits out at his critics after guiding Paris Saint-Germain to the Champions League semi-finals. He said, it's not that I read little, it's zero. I've been a coach for over 10 years, I've been attacked, vilified, ignored or criticized. Erling Haaland was left out of Manchester City's squad for the FA Cup semi-final tie against Chelsea with an injury. Bayern Munich could seal a cut-price deal for Frankie de Jong this summer with Barcelona needing to balance their accounts before the end of June. Mikel Arteta labeled Arsenal players as lucky despite suffering two crucial defeats which left their silverware prospects hanging in the balance. Brazilian sensation Endrick says that he and his girlfriend have a relationship contract that prohibits several things, including certain words. Barcelona fullback Joao Cancelo says that death threats have been aimed at his unborn daughter following his team's Champions League elimination. Deli Alley's ex-girlfriend Ruby May has revealed that she feared for her life when armed thieves robbed the Everton star. DC United's Christian Bentic believes Man City superstar and Beckgium teammate Kevin De Bruyne would be a great fit in MLS. Pep Guardiola has opened up on Cole Palmer's departure from Manchester City after seeing the forward play a starring role for Chelsea. He told reporters, he was asking for two seasons to leave and I said stay. He said he wanted to leave. What could we do? I said stay because Riyad Mahrez is gone but for two seasons he wanted to leave. Newcastle have reportedly sent scouts to watch Conor Gallagher in action ahead of a potential summer move. Phil Foden says Jude Bellingham is a gift from God and how he is hoping to right European Championship wrongs in Germany this summer. FA refused to back down on cup replay decision despite widespread backlash as governing body release statement explaining need for reform. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag has launched a staunch defense of Case Moreau amid a spell of poor form. Ten Hag told reporters, we needed a six when I arrived here and last season he was fantastic. I don't think he had ever scored so many goals but as a holding midfielder, he was so important to the team. Zinedine Zidane is reportedly poised to become the next manager of Bayern Munich, with a deal for the Frenchman said to be, practically done. Harry Kane secretly wants to come home, says Stan Collymore, with the ex-Premier League star warming to the idea of seeing the striker at Chelsea. Kylian Mbappe boasts the same, smelling a goal, quality as Cristiano Ronaldo. Case Moreau has said ahead of the Frenchman's proposed move to Real Madrid. Eric Ten Hag insisted that Alejandro Garancho has a lot to learn after burying the hatchet with the Argentine following an apology from the player. Ten Hag told reporters, Alejandro is a young player. He has to learn a lot. He has apologized for it and we move on. West Ham were close to signing Cole Palmer from Manchester City before Chelsea swooped in to snap up the attacking midfielder, Karen Brady revealed. Harry Kane scored one and assisted another as Bayern Munich battered Union Berlin 5-1 in the Bundesliga. Trent Alexander-Arnold took a dig at Arsenal as he claimed Liverpool played a part in their defeat against Aston Villa. Speaking to Sky Sports, the right-back said, if those fixtures were reversed and we played second and Arsenal played first, maybe it would have been a different mentality. It all comes down to mentality. I think our result played a part in Arsenal's result. La Liga giants Real Madrid are reportedly leading the race to sign Manchester City star Bernardo Silva in the summer, according to the Daily Star. According to Sky Germany, Chelsea defender Ian Matson has reportedly informed the club that he wants to leave Stamford Bridge in the upcoming summer transfer window. According to journalist Rudy Galletti, Chelsea could consider appointing Roberto De Zerbi as Mauricio Pochettino's replacement ahead of the next season. Antoine Griezmann is all set to sign a new long-term deal with Atletico Madrid in the coming months, according to journalist Rudy Galletti. The Frenchman's current contract expires in 2026 but the Spanish giants want to keep their star player beyond that. Thiago Silva was seen in tears after Chelsea suffered defeat against Manchester City. Thiago Silva, who looks set to depart West London this summer, cried shortly after the match ended. Meanwhile, Noni Maduk 5 was seen laughing in the background as he spoke with City's Jack Grealish and people genuinely question what's wrong with this Chelsea. Liverpool Ryan Gravenberch could leave Anfield just one season after joining the club as Galatasaray are reportedly interested in signing him, according to Photomac. Hi guys, ensure you check out the new videos on our Super Football News channel. Thanks for watching, bye bye.